hello everyone let's paint some very loose poppies today so i will start by spreading uh, this clear water using a spray bottle and i have very lightly sketched the poppies here so this is going to be a very wet painting so i would suggest using at least 300 gsm uh, weight paper here so now i'll start adding the color and this is uh, the red color Pyrrhal Scarlet and some pink which is uh, Conocodon Rose and this is uh, the right now the paper is quite wet because we uh, sprayed a lot of water here so the color will flow in all directions and we loosely form the shape of uh, the flower and I'm just tilting it so the water flows in uh, all directions and then a lot of splashes so this is going to be a very loose painting and feel free to experiment and it will be a good exercise in uh, letting loose and not having much control so now I'm adding some more red color here and pink will just keep building these uh, poppy shapes here but very loose and a lot of splashes I'm adding some more water here and then picking up some places where there was a lot of pooling I had posted a similar painting in my Instagram account um, a few weeks back and a lot of subscribers asked for it a tutorial so here it is and uh, I hope you enjoy painting it with me. And hopefully you'll like it. It's a, it's a good exercise for everyone to just let loose. So now I'm adding the uh, these uh, poppy flower buds here and I'm using a dark green color here so for this I decided to use undersea green uh, but uh, you can take any of your uh, green colors and make it more darker by adding uh, some dark blue to it Again, a lot of splashes even with the green. So now I'm adding some dark color here at the bottom of the flowers. It's a purple. Spraying some more water here. Now I'm adding some more uh, dark red here and the red color that I'm using is uh, alizarin crimson. And adding some more yellow. Adding more dark color to all the greens here. So I'm adding another flower bud here. And we'll just uh, darken these bottoms again. And I will splash some more color and let it dry for some time so it's not soaking wet like it is right now.
Uh, so now the paper is a little bit dry. It's still wet. Uh, I mean, if you touch it, it, the paper is still damp. So the color will still spread here. So I'm adding all this uh, dark green again. So every time the paper dries, uh, the color fades a little bit, so just adding more color. And um, after this step, um, let it dry completely. Uh, so now the paper is completely dried and I'll start adding some more color here. So I'll start with the Pyrrhal Scarlet and uh, shape the poppies. So you can see now when the paper is completely dried the colors have faded quite a bit. So we'll have to add color everywhere. Add some yellow also. Of, uh, splash here. So here in this painting actually there's a lot of uh, uh, the shapes are created by these splashes also. So feel free to splash as much as you want. And now I'm adding some darker color which is uh, the alizarin crimson. and darkening the stems and all the greenery. Adding some more purple color at the bottom of these flowers to darken them at the base. And again a lot of splashes. And we let it dry one more time. So it's uh, completely dry again and we will final, finally shape the flowers. So I will use almost like a dry brush here with some uh, dark color in it. So I have some alizarin crimson in my brush and the brush is almost dry. Start 
so now we will finish it by adding more splashes everywhere and uh, this is all done and I hope you enjoyed painting this uh, with me and uh, experimenting with this really loose painting and I hope you liked it thank you